Hello and welcome. So the spreadsheet is finally here. If you're new to our channel, my name is Adin. I'm one half of Hustle and Hooks. And I took the last three weeks and about 3,000 data points from last year to create a custom inventory management spreadsheet to help resellers like yourself and us to track all of our numbers throughout the years for a couple of reasons. One, knowing the amount of money that you're actually making is a key to any successful business. Two, tax preparation. By the end of the year, if you use this format and this spreadsheet correctly, you'll be able to summarize almost every single data point that you need to give to your professional accountant, your CPA, so that they can file their taxes. Or if you're filing your own taxes, you'll be able to utilize this information to do it quickly instead of, hey, how much did I really make or how much did I pay in shipping and fees, etc. So let me walk you through this simple yet very powerful spreadsheet that I've developed. And uh, if you are interested in a copy of it, I will have a link below to purchase it. The cost of this spreadsheet is $50 and it'll cover you for the entire year of 2021. So let's go through it and let me demonstrate some of the keys of this spreadsheet and how you can use it to grow your business. So the first thing I'm going to do is minimize my head because you don't really need to see it. I want to focus really on the spreadsheet. That's better. Now let's take a look at this sheet that's pulled up. This is the summary sheet. Every single journal entry that you make will be automatically summarized per month. And then you'll also have a quarterly summary report and an annual report and also an annual expense report for all of your expenses that you know you track throughout the year that you need to run your business so before we get to this let's kind of walk through the steps of what the sheet is all about the first tab is going to be all of the definitions and all of the instructions notice that there are some items here that are highlighted in red that typically means that we don't want you or I don't want you to enter any information into those specific cells as there are formulas attached to them. If you were to do so, you might crash the sheet or simply make it inaccurate. So just keep that in mind. Go through and read the definitions so you're familiar with them. And there are also instructions here on the bottom of what exactly you need to do how to add a new uh, line item, how to add a journal entry, how to delete one, et cetera, et cetera. So take a look at that. Under expenses, this is just a simple tab that allows you to enter all of your expenses. So for example, on the 1st of January, we purchased $38.58 worth of wrapping material, or in this case, it was bubble wrap. So all of our expenses that we purchased throughout the year we're going to record here and then at the end of the year it'll summarize our total cost and that's a tax deduction right because that's the cost of doing business one thing that people usually make a mistake on is that they don't track their expenditures throughout the year and then they tend to pay more for taxes because they believe they actually made more money so this is very important you also have a simple mile calculator this is based off of the current 2021 IRS 56 cents per mile deduction that you can claim for business travel. So these are just a couple of examples. And if I were to put in a journal entry, let's say that I drove a total of 55 miles on the 15th, uh, all I need to do now is tab over. It's going to automatically give me my uh, tax deduction of $30.08 that I can claim and I can make a note if I want to. So pick up is perfectly fine. If I tab over again, it's going to ask for the next journal entry. I don't have one at this point, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And then over here under bills and other expenses, I can put in anything else that I'm spending money on. Internet bill, employees, whatever that may be. Once you're done with those, you can go all the way to the back end under report and you're going to see a tabulation of all of your expenses for the year and you can do whatever you want with that information but like i said before you really want to keep that information tracked so that you can honestly know what you're spending on your business next up let's take a look at one of the most important tabs which is the master inventory tab 
this is our real inventory and a couple of things that I want to highlight out of here is that I'm going to try to minimize this to fit more on the screen. So if I go all the way up, so it looks like we have about 800, about 900 active listings, 925. If I go all the way up, you can see that the scale, the color scale is changing here and there's a number associated with every single one. Well, that's because each time that you list an item, the date listed is super important because it's going to automatically calculate how many days that listing has been active. And you can also then take action at a 60 day, 120 day or 180 day uh, frequency. So for example, here for this 2010 FIFA World Cup Portugal soccer football jersey, it's been listed for 318 days. It's time for us to do something about it. We can either Relist the item, revise it, change the photos, remove the listing, etc. So you can choose from a drop down and you can log any action that you've taken against aging inventory. And you can do this at any frequency, but these are the recommended frequencies 60 days, 120 days, and then over 180 days. If you choose not to use this part of the spreadsheet, that's perfectly fine, but it just gives you a clear indication of hey, you have some old listings and we need to do something about them. And in our case, we have the same. That's why we developed the spreadsheet to help us as well, because we need to do something with the old listings. Listings that are aging are going to start changing colors. So from green to yellow to orange to red, red means you should probably consider doing something about them. And as you list new items, they're gonna be in this nice green color. So listings that are 10 days, five days, a day old, are perfectly uh, green and you know they're they're active once you enter an item all you need to do is simply copy paste the description off of Poshmark off of eBay whatever platform you're selling on select a category if you choose to enter the cost of goods that you paid and the date listed once you sell an item all you need to do is copy all of the items that are in blue here, so the item description, category, cost of goods, and date listed, you can simply hit Control C or you can right click, copy, go over to the January tab. Here, I'm, again, I'm going to minimize it so you can see it a little bit bigger. And let's say that these Hoka's did indeed sell, and these are all real sales that we have logged uh, this year so far. Once I paste it here, everything automatically formats. Let's say I sold them today, today's the 18th, and I sold them on eBay. eBay is 10% fees. I sold them for $50. It cost me $9 to ship them. And now it's going to give me my net profit for the item based off of a average approximate fee of 10% on eBay. It's going to give me the net profit of $21. Any adjustments or return charges that I have afterwards, I can document here. And then if I simply scroll up to the top of the table, it's going to give me my monthly summary so far. So this is how much money we've made so far in January. It gives me the totals for the number of sales, cost of goods, gross sales, shipping costs, approximate fees, net profits, and net adjusted profits. It also gives me a quick monthly uh, average. So my average gross sales, average net sales, and average sales per day. Every single tab is going to be formatted the same, so it's nice and simple. And then at the end of it, if you go to your report, it's going to give you a nice summary per month so you can see if you're growing if you're improving so on and so forth your quarterly summary in the bottom is going to give you a quarterly summary right as simple as that sounds and then at the end here it's going to give you an annual report a couple of other things that i wanted to show you quickly i will be making more tutorial videos that are going to be in a private group so that anyone that purchases this product can go to that private group ask technical questions and also just kind of discuss the what they would like to see in the future and there i will show you a couple of tricks of doing some data analysis so for example one of the powerful items that you have here if you look at any of your soul tabs if you look at your uh, platforms for example you can select between them and say hey all I want to see is all my local sales 
for January and it's going to pull up all your local sales and of course you can analyze and see how much money you're making locally or you can say hey look I want to look at all of my platforms but I'm really curious of how much I sold on a particular day and that day is the 10th and it's going to just show you all the items you sold on the 10th or you can say hey I really want to just know how many items were shoes that I sold so here I'm going to deselect and I'm going to just go down to shoes select shoes and here it's going to just give you the analysis of shoes so you can say hey if I just select shoes all my monthly is gone now but I can just do a couple of quick things by simply dragging over my let's see are my net profits on the bottom here, I can see that on average, I'm making $20.45 per pair of shoes that I'm selling on all the platforms. Again, just a couple of things you can do with these pivot tables. You can select, deselect, and analyze to see what you should focus on, what you should drop, etc. I'm going to go back to category. I'm just going to select all, hit OK, and it's going to give me all of my data points again. One particularly powerful aspect of this tool is that it keeps track of your total um, investment into your business. So how much money do you actually have tied up into your inventory? So let's take a look at how that works. Each time that you add a journal entry and you enter the cost of goods, as you see here, you're going to see that the total tabulation on the report page it's going to give you an annual summary. So if I scroll down here and find that, right here, this unsold inventory of 2021, currently we have $4,758.85 tied up in inventory. That's our real money. This is our real inventory. So once I make a sale, what I want to do is remove that item from our master inventory list because it's going to be documented and captured in, in your monthly sales list. So this Mario Golf 64 to be at $5 invested into, once it's sold, we remove that from our active inventory. So if I were to remove, let's say these five items sold, and I remove them. I'm just gonna right click, delete, and I'm gonna go to my last tab again on the report. And now you notice that my inventory value dropped to $4,709.24. This is extremely important because at the end of the year, you need to know what the total amount of inventory is that you sold, which is going to be the cost of goods sold, which is under the annual report. You also need to know how much money you have left over for tax purposes. So just wanted to highlight that quick but simple function of this tool. The last type here that I want to talk about is titles. Here you can change a few things. So these are the current platforms that are default from the drop down menu. You can also change this to, let's say, Amazon, um, Depop, uh, whatever platform you're selling on. There's so many of them. And you can all also change the associated platform fees. So if you believe that you're paying more like 12% on eBay instead of 10% on average, you can definitely change that. Or whatever you want to do, that's, that's totally up to you. You can also change the category list if you would like to, the action list, the expense types. Those are things that you can do. That's up to you. The one thing that you cannot do is change anything on this report tab. Notice if I try to double click into any of one of these cells, it tells me that I can't. This has been locked out. I will give you the password for this, but I really don't want anyone to mess with the report section of it because it's all tied into the spreadsheet. I hope you found this video informative. I hope that you're interested in this product. If you are, there's a link below to purchase it. If you have any questions, you can definitely shoot us a DM on Instagram, or you can just ask the question in the comment section below. There's more coming. There's going to be a private group for technical support. There's also going to be more tutorial videos on that private group just to walk you through. And that's basically it. Uh, hopefully this video brought you some value and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.